morning guys well today I'm a little bit um, rough I would say we went and seen Nickelback at the SEC in Glasgow yeah it was like that <laughs> so today I'm gonna be turning this really cheap nasty axe into something just a little bit more special my folks gave this to me while I was down in Cornwall uh, because they didn't have any use for it and it is the bluntest, most rubbishest axe or hatchet you could possibly own I think it's completely rounded at the end um, I don't know what that would chop through but it's it's like blunter than the back of my knife and uh, it's got this plastic handle so I'm going to completely strip down the the head I've got a chunk of ash here, I'm going to put a new ash handle on it and basically just make it nice and sharp see where we end up, stay tuned ok to give you an idea of how blunt and rubbish this axe is I don't know if I can show you in the camera here yeah, look at that, that is the worst edge ever if you ever have an axe like this or a hatchet don't just settle for it, don't just think that's what axes should be like Axes should be sharp. Should be able to slice through this. But I was trying to cut this. Let's be pushing down as hard as I can. It just dents it. Absolutely terrible. But we can fix that. Okay, so my main goal for today is to just grind off all this rubbishness, get that sharp, looking good, drill out this handle, get that gone. Because I found plastic handles, like this has actually got a nice geometry to it, but it's just plastic, you get a lot more vibration. So see if you're chopping up lots of wood, you end up with a sore elbow, it just doesn't absorb the shock the same. So I'm going to use a bit of ash. I know hickory is probably the better wood for it, but I don't have any hickory, and ash makes good handles too. So I'm going to use that, nice size piece, should be all good. The grain's not perfect on this, it's about a 45 degree angle. But I think that'll be fine. Like I'm not using this axe for really heavy work or anything like that, so that's going to be good enough. Uh, ideally, you want the grain to be going down that way, and then that just adds strength to the handle. But anything up to a 45 degree angle is acceptable. Um, if the grain's going across, like if you're in a shop trying to buy an axe and the grain's going across like that, don't buy it because it's really compromise then and it'll end up probably snapping at some point just doesn't have any strength for all those impacts so I guess I better get to it <laughs> right so we're gonna start off with 60 grit on the power sander suppose I better clamp it down here
very important to get this completely clean in here for the next handle. There you go, now I can get that paint off. Because I can't get to this, see once I put the new handle on, I won't be able to get in here to polish this up. I'm actually going to polish this bit up, and uh, possibly a little bit more of it. But the most important thing is to get that nice and finished before I get started on the handle. Got some 120 on here. It's been used a little bit, but it's fine. Right now. Finish all the rest of that off once it's got a handle, but can already shave with it. You see that? Not quite as sharp as I want it to be, but definitely sharp already. And that's just with 400 grit on a soft pad, so. Don't always need the fancy whetstones. Okay, so on to the handle. I'm just going to use the original handle as a sort of template because I felt like it, it felt pretty good in the hand. There wasn't much wrong with it, so I'll use that as a starting point. Handle. 
Hmm. That's not so good. Alright, let's see if we can't fix this with a bit of super glue. Be good as new. Let's get stuck on. Okay, so if you're ever doing this yourself, this is, like I say, I'm not an expert on this. This is the first time I've ever done this, like fitted a handle. But something I have noticed is if you eyeball it down the middle here, just to make sure that everything's straight, you can see it's slightly off. Like, it's not much. I have been keeping an eye on it but yeah there, like there you see if it's straight the axe is slightly off that way so I'm just gonna have to sand it so that it tilts the head back that way again because I want everything to be nice and straight that's the other reason why I didn't shape this so I haven't shaped the handle at all until I've got that fitted just in case it is slightly off but a good fit I can then shape the handle to make it straight again so that's where I'm at at that let's get back to it Okay, so cut a little wedge. Hang on. Need to be neaten up, I think. Yeah. Don't really know how um, important it is to have this super neat, but I feel like. A little bit of effort will make it better. Okay, so um Before I get too crazy with this, I'm just gonna. In fact, what am I gonna do? Hi. I'm gonna clean this up again because I've been hammering it lots. 
It doesn't look quite as cool as it used to. So. Okay, there we go. And to fit this properly, you just okay. The only problem with that is that it squished my wedge. But, uh, maybe I can get it in here without it snapping. Good, I just need to hammer in a little metal piece now. Now, I probably should have made this before now, but yeah. Okay, we have the sacrificial scissors. I reckon that'll make the perfect little wedge. Cut it off there. I can even get two out of this. Hardened steel. Not too hot though. I think that's coming off. Just need to shake the handle now. <laughs>
Okay, so that's most of the power sanding done. Oh wait, <laughs> forgot to sand the top. Now, since this is just a cheap axe, and I'm sort of messing about here, I thought I'd experiment, because you hear a lot of people saying when they fit a handle to an axe that you don't need any glue, they fit the wedge in, and usually they'll use glue, but say, oh, this isn't really necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. So on this one, I thought, well, if everybody says it's not necessary, I'm not going to use glue, so I've hammered in the wedge, both wedges, the wooden wedge and the metal wedge with absolutely no glue at all and I'm going to see what happens so obviously can't tell for a little while, need to use it a bit but I've got a feeling it's not going to go anywhere, it feels absolutely solid so let's see so I've carefully measured and marked this as you can see with a wobble. Right, wind seed time. Oh wait, should I burn it? I'll maybe burn it and then wind seed it. What design to go for though? Kind of fancy something a little bit crazy. Hmm. I wonder what I could do with this. Or maybe always try it on a test sample piece. Maybe move the fat pine away, that'd be a bit risky. You guys see good. Alright, so I'm gonna try a burn sort of pattern. these wee things. Never tried this before. Whew. I lose my hair at this rate. Interesting. Kind of like camouflage. Let's do it. Okay. Scary, scary.
and try not to burn myself all in the one. What do you think of that? I think that's worked out pretty good. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Right, while it's hot, that's going to be perfect time to get the linseed oil on. What I do for getting in the hole there is I just plug it with my finger, pour a good bit in, and then plug it on the other side, and you can just roll it about, and the linseed oil just tumbles about inside that hole, saturates it all. So if you're sitting with a totally rubbish axe that you hate, and you think it's cheap garbage? Preferably buy one with a wooden handle, save you a lot of the hassle. But cleaning up the edge, that didn't take much effort. Just need a sander. And it's nice and sharp now. This handle, I'm so chuffed with the way that's turned out. And there you go, that's how it's done. Right, so I'm pretty happy with the handle, that's all worked out good, just needs a bit more linseed oil. This I think is way too bright and shiny, so I've heard, I've never tried this before, again this is all learning new things for me, distilled vinegar, you put it on, you leave it, it makes it all go dark. I have cleaned it since I linseed oiled it, I maybe should have done this before I oiled it, but you know. Only had the idea there. So I don't really have enough vinegar. This was a spur of the moment thing. Really wasn't planned. Um, so I definitely don't have enough vinegar to bath it. Maybe should have bought some. Saved me standing here rubbing away for ages, but... Well, sometimes you just gotta do it the hard way. I'll get back to you when I have a result. Okay, I got bored of that plan. So, what I'm gonna do now... 
wrap it up and soak it. This might not be so good for the handle, but this axe has got to learn that it's going to get mistreated from an early age. Here's its first lesson. Cut on my hand. Right, I'm just going to leave that over there. Ah, my hand's stinging so bad. <laughs> okay, it's now, there you go, 12 past 9 at night. Let's see what's happened here. Well, that looks pretty cool. Nice one. Sorry, if you're wondering what that random noise is, that's uh. My son fighting baddies in the garden. Paper test. Fail. Hold on. Okay, paper test. Take two. Now we're looking a bit better. I don't think it'll hold its edge quite um, quite the same as you know my Hultifers or anything like that because it's it's not a high quality steel. But it'll be fun. I just need to remember when I take this out and use it. I just need to sharpen it afterwards. I don't matter. I enjoy doing that anyway. Right, so there we go. That turned out pretty... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> right, so as we got it all finished up, I'm really chuffed with this. I think it's worked out brilliantly. Uh, for a cheap little axe that was just... Well, to be honest, it was pretty much garbage. Worked out really good. I like the camouflage sort of etching on it. Um, just adds to the, the whole look of the handle and stuff makes it look kind of nice and old and I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna have fun with this axe. So hope you enjoyed this video Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it subscribe and I will see you for the next one. Thanks